Some days ago, our district, San Juan de Lurigancho, commemorated its 54th anniversary. So I wanted to share this book, Images, San Juan de Lurigancho, historical photographic archive on the 50th anniversary of political creation of the district of San Juan de Lurigancho by Mr. Julio Anton Villacorta. He has had the generosity of sharing this uh, book in PDF format on the internet, I'm going to show you the link in a moment, and in about 36 pages this book is divided in seven sections. The book, as it says on page 4, uh, consists of 29 representative photographs. Each photograph is accompanied by texts. The first section is about historical photos, like El Sauce, a cemetery, Jack Poloni, a professor and researcher who published a book in 1987, a book that is the Bible, as it says, of everyone who is interested in San Juan de Lurigancho. The second section deals with famous people who, in one way or another, are related to our district, like Miss Livia Arias, who, by the publication of this book, in 2017 was 97 years old and she was born in Zarate. The priest Jorge Álvarez, Julio Abanto Yaque, who created the Ruricancho Cultural Association in 1998, Edmundo Panay, a poet who wrote chant to Uringuancho, the historical name of our district, Arturo Vázquez, a teacher who, with the students, in a school here, has performed a version of Inti Raimi, the most famous Inca ceremony since 2008. Number three is about places and monuments like this house uh, in the Lurigancho prison, which was evidently built before the prison, a park uh, which commemorates one of the tragedies at that prison in 1983, El Pueblito, which is in reality the capital of San Juan de Lurigancho, founded between 1571 and 1575, a monument to José Carlos Mariátegui, one of the greatest thinkers of 20th century Peru, the Aras Lurigancho related to horse riding, to horse racing, something that unfortunately I ignored totally, a statue, a small sculpture of St. John the Baptist. I suppose this is one of the few cultural artifacts dating from the colony in our district, the Yungay Square, which is a kind of replica of the city which was destroyed by the earthquake in their Angas region in 1970. Number four, in my opinion, well, for my liking, is the most interesting. It's about archaeological sites like El Sauce, which is a pre-Incan cemetery. There have been some excavations, a documentary on Canto Chico, which is another Huaca or an archaeological site. The fifth part deals with the natural places of our district, like those rocks. The author appears in this photo. This is El Sauce, a hill, another one in Mangomarca. Number six, talking about the Lomas, the Fog Hills, the Canto Chico Lomas, the Mangomarca Lomas. There is so much to preserve in our district. In, not only in terms of history and culture, but in terms of nature. Those ecosystems are so fragile and uh, have been invaded and have been destroyed for decades. However, there are some groups of honest citizens who want to contribute to its preservation. Number seven is about events the artist, the museum that existed for some years in the Canto Chico Shanty Town, El Pueblito, and it, the celebration for its anniversary, the Pampa de Canto Grande Art Gallery, which exhibits different cultural artifacts, different objects that were found on the expeditions, you know. There are models, there are photos, infographics, timelines, ceramics, newspaper articles, replicas, so, so much to find. One just rock, rock music made and produced in our district, the festivity of the wine, 
So cultural activity in our district is more than, I don't know, people like me used to think. Even the Inti Raimi, as I said, the most important Inca festivity, it was performed and has been performed in the Campoy archaeological site. In order to make this book more professional, not only aimed at the general public, but specialized public, there is a group of references, a bibliography, also the appendix, for example, the photos of the exhibition, because these photos were exhibited, were part of a, a temporary exhibition. Uh, and something that I really like is that each, um, each article, and something that I really like is that each article includes text as well as photos, the photos themselves, which are the center of the text. And at the end of the page, as footnotes, you can see a link to a YouTube video. So, you know, you can get information in different ways and in different formats, video, text, and photos. So I want to send my greetings to all the people who live in San Juan del Rigancho, the people who were born here, and the people who, as me, have chosen this district to become our home. Bye-bye.